Secondly, reducing the level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is a top priority for mankind. In accordance with the 2050 Carbon Neutrality Declaration, countries worldwide are further tightening regulations of carbon emissions. Achieving carbon neutrality requires not only efforts to reduce carbon emissions, but also the vital conversion of carbon dioxide into fuels and value-added products. Recently, among various carbon dioxide conversion technologies, producing e-fuel from carbon dioxide has been gaining wide attention. E-fuels have great potential to realize a carbon-neutral society as they use carbon dioxide as a raw material and can create electrical energy from new renewable energy. E-fuels can be produced from carbon dioxide in the following existing method. When electrons are injected into carbon dioxide using electrical energy, CO2 can be converted into reduced products such as carbon monoxide, formic acid and ethylene. Recently, apart from this existing paradigm, a new concept of e-fuel has been produced from carbon dioxide. Professor Namgi Te of Seoul National University and his research team developed the world's very first electrochemical CO2 conversion system that imitates the electron flow of living organisms. This resulted in the synthesis of carbonyl compounds, which was thought to be impossible until now. Through this, the range of e-fuel products that were once limited to reduced forms has been expanded. The living organism utilizes electron flow when synthesizing energy-carrying molecules. In this process, electron transfer mediator efficiently transfer electron through repeated oxidation and reduction to form a continuous electron flow. So by mimicking this core principle of nature, our key technology is the application of electron flow to the electrochemical carbon dioxide conversion. The electron transfer mediator in our system takes electron injected into the carbon dioxide from cathode and transfers them to the anode. As a result, the electron can flow through the electrolyte continuously from cathode to the anode. So now, as the energy of electron slowly decreases, our proposed method is to convert CO2 by utilizing energy emitted in the electron downhill flows. So by using this method, CO2 can be converted into the higher value product through CO2 functionalization by making new bonds with other molecules as opposed to simply reducing carbon dioxide. Specifically, the system developed by the research team is as follows. First, two electrons are transferred from the cathode to carbon dioxide, producing carbon monoxide. Then, the electrons that were injected into carbon dioxide are withdrawn again by the electron transfer mediator. During this step, the carbon monoxide produced from carbon dioxide forms a new bond with the methanol solution, ultimately producing dimethyl carbonate. The electrons are then transferred back to the anode by another electron transfer mediator. Through this revolutionary system for the very first time in the world, Professor Nam and his research team have succeeded in synthesizing carbonyl compounds from carbon dioxide using electrical energy. Carbonyl compounds that the team has successfully synthesized are redox neutral products that are neither oxidized nor reduced from carbon dioxide. This innovative method breaks the stereotype that traditional electrochemical CO2 conversions can only create reduced products. The magic doesn't end here. The team system is highly efficient and allows high value added compounds to be formed at low electrical energy costs. Dimethyl carbonate, the first to be successfully synthesized by the team in this study, can be used as a fuel additive for gasoline and diesel. It can also be used in various other industries like polymer manufacturing, medicine and batteries. Additionally, demand for dimethyl carbonate is expected to increase rapidly worldwide due to its low toxicity to humans and the environment. Due to this high usability, dimethyl carbonate has a much higher market value compared to other products made from conventional carbon dioxide conversions. Conventional electrochemical carbon dioxide reduction technologies store energy of electron in carbon dioxide. So this has a fundamental limitation where high energy costs are required to produce high value added compounds. Therefore, 
There has been no case of commercialization yet. Continuous research, including the development of electron catalyst with higher selectivity, is essential to securing profitability. So why conventional carbon dioxide conversion technology require excess electrical energy because they consume electrons? Our system uses electron energy from electron downhill flow. This ultimately allows us to convert carbon dioxide into high value added compound with only a small amount of electrical energy. In reality, the market value of dimethyl carbonate is over three times higher than that of formic acid, another product gained from CO2 reduction. The electrical energy required to produce dimethyl carbonate is 3.5 kilowatt hours per kilogram, similar to formic acid. Considering that the global levelized cost of electricity of solar photovoltaic in 2021 is $0.039 per kilowatt hour, the team system can produce one kilogram of DMC at an electrical energy cost of around 14 cents. By developing a new system that can synthesize products with higher market values at lower electrical energy, we can expect to take a step closer to commercializing electrochemical CO2 conversion technology. So this research is groundbreaking in that it is the world's very first case to use electrical energy to synthesize carbonyl compound dimethyl carbonate from carbon dioxide at room temperature. It is expected to play an important role in carbon capture and utilization technology. Additionally, it is anticipated to provide a new direction for electrochemical short conversion technology by developing a system that can create high value added product at only a minimal cost of electrical energy. This technology was introduced in the renowned journal Nature Energy and recognized by the international community for its new method of converting electrochemical carbon dioxide. A highly efficient system capable of creating high value added compounds at low electrical energy costs. The remarkable feat that imitates the core principles of nature poses another opportunity to emphasize the wonders of Mother Nature. The research team hopes that these results will present a new breakthrough in the world's efforts to resolve the carbon dioxide issue.